Hey, thanks so much for sharing your time with me. I jumped on here today because I want to share my excitement about the anniversary that's coming up of gaining full custody of my children. So after six years of emotional, financial, mental litigation abuse, and of course the child abuse that was going on, um, my kids and I have been free and safe for almost a whole year. There are no social constructs for a day like this, and the word celebrate feels inappropriate, but what I am feeling called to do is acknowledge the strength, the courage, and the perseverance it took to get myself here and to get my kids free. To be clear, my ex is highly abusive, and spending time with both parents, if they're healthy, is good in most situations, but that's not what was going on for us. So with this anniversary coming up, I'm focusing on acknowledging within myself the roles that I played in this process. I'm working with my children so that they can see all the actions and choices they made to get themselves free. And I'm reaching out to my community and asking them to share with me their perceptions of our journey. So many aspects of abuse feel like they go unnoticed and unseen. It can be really powerful to stop and reflect on what's happened and what you've gone through with yourself and with others. It can bring so much healing and resolution to the situation. So whether you're still in the throes of co-parenting with your abuser, or maybe you're still in the separation process, or maybe you're even still with them, what can you acknowledge within yourself about the good things you've done to get yourself to where you are? Where have you shown up as your own hero? What invisible battles have you fought that have gotten you to where you are today? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Take good care. Thank you.